Now, del delving into uh, the PDM, uh, Parish Development Model, the Minister for Local Government, Rafael Majezi, has taken significant steps to expedite the disbursement of parish development revolving funds in Kampala district. The minister's efforts aims to address challenges faced by technical personnel responsible for delivering these funds to the intended beneficiaries. Speaking to the parish chiefs in Kampala district during a validation and disbursement exercise at Nakawa, Minister Majezi revealed that the process to allocate allowances and computers to technocrats to facilitate the process has been finalized. Local government minister Rafael Majezi says government has allocated allowances and provided computers to support the technical personnel operating within the parish development model. These measures are part of a comprehensive package designed to streamline the distribution of the revolving funds. Our parish revolving fund is targeting to support people in the agro businesses along the agro value chain. But you have the beneficiaries we are looking for in Kampala doing other sorts of businesses that are not in the agro value chain. For for example, saloons, uh, for example, washing bays, for example, mechanics. So it was difficult for us in the start to see how their businesses could fit in the PDM plan. Aisha Chinabi, the coordinator of the Kampala Parish model, expressed her appreciation for the minister's failed visit and noting that by the end of this week, more than 50% of the parish development revolving funds will have reached their intended beneficiaries in Kampala district. We have 98 circles and uh, out of these, 97 out of 98 have received uh, 100 million each of their parish circles. Uh, that totals to 9.7 billion Uganda shillings. In collaboration with the Parish Development Model Secretariat, efforts to provide mindset training to Kampala communities, focusing on various categories of the Parish Development Revolving Fund, have been put in place. These new initiatives are expected to bluster the disbursement process and enhance community participation. But Kampala has about 68% of Kampala ghettos, they are slums. So community mobilization and mindset change has to really be a continuous process for the PDM to be successful. First and foremost is to preach the message of agro value chain. You do not have to be growing crops directly, you can be storing them, for example. You do not have to be rearing animals directly. You could be transporting them to the market, for example. Now, those are the kind of people who are in Kampala, and we wanted them to learn that. So our strategy is to continue preaching this message. The public relations officer of the Parish Development Model Secretariat, Sylvester Nyombi, emphasized the importance of these initiatives, highlighting their potential to benefit the Kampala communities. The youth are some of the majority stakeholders in PDM and whereas uh, some people may think that they are not appreciating PDM, at least in the places where the money has been given out, they have got the 30% as required by cabinet and government. Please use it for what it was intended for and let us be able to see development in our country starting from our households. Kampala is home to 98 parishes, each with its own savings and credit cooperative, SACO, and 97 parish development SACOs have received the funds. However, the authorities have issued a caution to ensure that these funds are used for their intended purposes as per the parish development modus pillars. This recent government intervention is expected to accelerate the disbursement of funds and contribute to the success of the parish development revolving funds program in Kampala district. I'm